Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Diane, the owner of Vermont Lavender. Today what I'm doing is I'm making a bath bomb and I'll have Epsom salts and sea salts in there. And I'm using the fragrance Moonchild and then I'm using the Sunflower Mold. And I'm doing that because we're going to be having a solar eclipse on April 8th. So I'm getting ready for all the tourists that will be coming into the shop and shopping online because we're supposed to have over 40,000 tourists come to our area in central Vermont. So it's supposed to be the Barry area, Burlington, and then St. Albans. And they're expecting over 100,000 people to visit Vermont. So that's a lot <laughs> for a small town. All right, let's get started. colored Epsom salts. So I'm making a muscle soaking back bomb. This is sea salt right here. I'm going to add my SLSA. And this is my cream of tartar. Okay, and then I'm adding some evening primrose extract. And I'm making two different batches for this sunflower bath bomb I'm making. Then I need the moon child, and it smells beautiful. Mmm, it's very fresh. It has bergamot and uh, jasmine, and it's kind of like a mm, like a citrus floral summer evening type scent. Then I need to add my polysorbate 80. And then I'm going to add my citric acid. I'll put the basic recipe down below, but if you are interested in uh, the full recipe, I'll have that on my Patreon account. All right, let's sift this out. I don't really need to sift it too much because I get this from Wholesale Supplies Plus and it's already really smooth. But sometimes you have little teeny chunks. Very, very small. Okay, this is all set. So now I'm ready to add my wet to the dry. Make sure that's nice and incorporated. So this is the white. This will be the middle. And then I'll make another batch. And um, that will be the outside. So what I'd like to do is have it kind of like spin <laughs> in the bathtub. So that would be pretty cool. So now I'm all set to add my citric acid. Oh yeah, look at that. Breaks apart. Squeeze it. Bam. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to put this in a different bowl and then make the next batch. So for my colors, what I'm going to do for the rays on the outside of it is I'm going to have the racing stripe orange. I'm going to mix that with some copper sparkle mica. And 
and then a little bit of this uh, raspberry red and that's what that looks like there so I think if I make this combination it might work we'll see and then I have some salts that I'm going to put in there and these are some salts I made earlier and I have a video on that if you want to watch that after this one and then this is the um, the outside of it so it has a little bit of the red and the gold to make the fiery outside of the Sun so add a little bit of orange it's hard to get it with micas. Not too bad. Of course I am going to add my citric acid but that's not too bad. It's kind of like a red orange. What I want. I'm going to add just a little bit more because I'm going to add my citric. Okay, now I'm going to add my citric acid. Okay, so what I'm doing, this is the back of it. And then this is the imprint of the front. So I'm just adding, my mixture is really, really wet. So I'm just adding a little bit here in the center. Might have to add more as I get going because I have quite a bit of this orange, orangey red. This color came out really nice. Put that there, because I kind of want it to spin around in the tub. So it's very, it is really, really moist. Of course, it is a sea salt mixture, and it usually is moist like this. So this is not unusual. I just want to get it in all these little crevices without patting it down. All right, and then I have my little salt mixture. I'm just going to put it on the edges. And then I have my top right here, push that right in. See, there's a the bottom right there. And just press up like this. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm getting ready for the solar eclipse. And oh, the scent is just beautiful. Thank you. 